right, and this is the third mission of Gunhound. We're gonna go rescue us some scientists, some engineers working on uh, the thingamajig resource of this game. Seems like Yuri is one that would like to participate in combat all the time, not only uh, do boring stuff like extraction. Well, I can relate. If you buy a mecha game, you wanna you wanna participate in combat. <laughs> oh, it makes me sick. Combat over scarce resources uh, makes Sergeant Kid sick. Well, that's why you're just a sergeant and not a general. Even kidnap researchers. What sick nation would ever, ever kidnap uh, <laughs> their enemies, scientists, and put them to use? I cannot probably think of one. Alright, so this is a third mission. Uh, it starts a little bit an anticlimactic as far as visuals go, uh, but it's actually a very interesting uh, new game mechanic here. We are sliding down this longest mountainside in history uh, and shooting bad guys coming from the right. On the standard shmup thing going on. It's a little bit uh, disorienting and a little bit uh, awkward to uh, move around here because you, while you move up and down the hill, uh, you also aim up and down and you have to... What, what I did was lock myself into a uh, pretty, uh, pretty comfortable angle and just held the lock uh, lock arms, I guess, lock the weapon orientation button and just move myself to a preferred position instead of aiming up and down. The main challenge here is that there's a lot of there's a lot of sliding to your movements. Uh, you cannot you cannot uh, come to a stop. You are always uh, sliding left, right, up and down. It's gonna come. <laughs> into play in this most disappointing danger <laughs> segment of any uh, action, Japanese action game. Like usually when you have a bright red danger, enemy something something approaching, you wanna see something more than just grey, uh, how they call it, a barricade I guess, it's gonna come up in a second. Oh. I mean, barricade or area. This is the cutest award. And I can, uh, of course, make uh, make light of uh, Japanese accents, as my own accent is not that good. So, as long as you are not good at something, you can mock it all you all you want. Is the is the thing I want you to take from this uh, from this episode of Gang Hound. I get, I get. This is what I what I think uh, lacks in some uh, Western games. Maybe not not the not the best ones, but uh, I find that uh, corny as it might be, I like the little the little things in Japanese games, as for example Yuri calls her hound or tells her hound to hold on, little hound. If, if she has this motherly approach to. Yeah, to have vehicle like most of the games uh, I've played certainly well, 
at a young age. <laughs> I remember them being dead serious and not really put much uh, characterization. It might be me. It might be me huh, talking out of my ass here, but... So this is a little bit of a uh, defense segment, uh, quite similar to what we played in the second mission. And this third mission is uh, definitely, as you can see uh, from the length of the video, <laughs> it's, uh, at least it feels uh, longer than the second mission, certainly. Uh, Right, let's see the uh, cutscene here. Oh, I heard it from a family, huh? <laughs> oh, Sergeant Kid, I can read you like an open book. And I haven't actually played more of the game, but I predict that he's gonna defect or do some stupid shit. Starting right now. I also have a. Uh, I just have a feeling how Doriduro is gonna die because I like him the most and I wish I was playing as him and it always happens in the games when my favorite my favorite guys die because they have to <laughs> okay. I'm gonna dial down on these uh, comments uh, regarding Japanese or not! Let's see. Let's see if I can uh, if I can handle such restraint in the future. So here comes up a cut. As I, uh, <laughs> I don't want you to uh, to witness my failings. This is a rerun of the of this segment of the uh, mission. Well, this right here. Especially uh, a segment coming up uh, pretty close is where the, where the game for me uh, really ramped up the difficulty. Like on the on the level, not on uh, during the boss fights, which are understandably uh, and very rightfully so, uh, pretty hard in themselves. Um, so you can you can see the. Uh, the level has a, a lot more verticality to it, and the gun placement and the enemy placement make it so... Uh, there is certainly a lot of problem avoiding these, for example, these shots here. Unfortunately, I did dispatch the uh, enemy that was overshooting this, uh, these rocks there. You can see here, now, I, now being lighter without my armor. I could, uh, I could avoid these shots, and it's really hard to keep track of uh, shots coming from different directions when you you really have to uh, predict the enemy uh, shooting angles, and your and your movement has to be deliberate. You because you have a lot of inertia to your to your little mecha, to your little uh, powered suit, I guess. They don't seem to be. So big, and I'm a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit surprised by the uh, behavior of the uh, enemy pilots, as you could probably see in the previous uh, episodes. Actual human beings, not actually human beings, but pixels resembling human beings, uh, fall out of the uh, enemy mechas, uh, and from my what I've seen and what I remember from the. Uh, Previous episodes from the previous levels, they always just got up and ran away. It's like the, <laughs> it's like it was, it's like the rating of the game was changed and they had to add that uh, to be more <laughs> suitable to children, I guess. And they had to. Well, that was my thinking. They had to add those pilots going. I'm okay. I just, I just fell, fell out of my, my little mecha. I'm alright, I'm gonna just run away here, but uh, I've been surprised that the pilots here just fall out and straight up die. <laughs> fall into a pit. So what we're doing here is again guarding the helicopter that's gonna help us extract uh, the remaining scientist. Kid somehow had the information that 
need that they uh, the scientists needed rescuing so that's highly suspicious I cannot probably think of uh, <laughs> the direction where the plot's gonna go so far uh, this is the only uh, this is the only thing that I don't like uh, in the plot of the game rudimentary as it is is that there is no uh, there is no certain uh, antagonist. I guess Kid might become a good uh, a good uh, antagonist later on. I don't know. This is a failure of many games who just uh, give you a neb nebulous uh, give a nebulous enemy to fight and never give you a person. I should, uh, I should really think. They, they rarely give you a good antagonist. Usually when they do, the, <laughs> the antagonist is more uh, relatable than the main character. The protagonist, as it were. This is a different problem, but... We can all agree that a game, <laughs> a story... Uh, most stories need good antagonists. And look who's coming uh, as a boss in this mission. This is my favorite guy. <laughs> oh, Yuri. Look at this guy. Look how absolutely cute this guy is! Especially when he attacks in his leg. Oh, I'm out! <laughs> Hello! I'm here! So this is a little bit of a pattern recognition. Uh, certainly uh, quite hard, because the patterns are quite varied here and the uh, floaty movement uh, sliding down this hill does not help at all. You have to predict where the hole in his bullet pattern is gonna be. Hello! <laughs> oh, this guy. I, I, I want more of this guy in this game. I really like it. Well, if there was more more of this guy, I just realized this game would be just macros. <laughs> so I guess. I guess there is laws, copyright laws in Japan. <laughs> Things resembling macros can only be on screen for about a minute, maybe two. As you can see, all the timer on the right. This is actually for le legal reasons, not for hardcore scoring reasons. And uh, the score is clearly a glitch, and not the uh, <laughs> not caused by the fact that I restarted multiple times on this boss here. And with that, uh, Sugoi. We're good to end this uh, chapter here. So I don't know what to say about the game. I don't know what to say about the game. I don't know what with that highly acted surprise, we have a scramble mission, so a uh, very short mission, optional mission between the missions. I didn't know that this game featured that, I'm going in cold, as it were, I'm just replaying the chapters somewhat uh, between uh, uploading this, so... We have a scramble mission, it's gonna be a timed mission, failing it will not give us a game over. So, let's see what happens. 